As the former lead for libraries, my first leadership role on the council, um, I've had the... Oh, you can stay up here. Yeah, come on. Stay up. Stay up. Um, I've had the privilege of... Uh, Anita told me she said all of the folks from her department who aren't here, she, they're, all, they're running the library. So it's, she's dedicated to the end. So we want the more the merrier. Um, I've had the privilege of working with Director Vassallo uh, over the last several years. Um, and just, I'm going to read what I have to say here so I stay on point and don't get super emotional. But her dedication has stood out um, in her commitment to libraries. Um, she's always loved reading. He, she took her mother's advice at the, and at the age of 15 started working for her local library. Uh, she served in many roles, including branch librarian, branch manager, acting director, assistant director for technology and website management, just to name a few. I'm sure there's many more. Throughout her career, uh, she has affirmed and found and uh, had a deep love for the interaction with people that libraries bring. She's built an inclusive environment everywhere she's gone uh, across the demographics of all of our library branches. She has bridged the lack of resources by providing computer access, quiet study spaces, and literature to ensure the educational advancement of our county regardless of age or literacy skill. She's made sure libraries are open to all. She has been loyal to Montgomery County um, for over 50 years, for over 50 years in service. Determination, leadership, reliability, and innovation and ambition all at the same time. She's cared for the more than 370 and developed, excuse me, more than 370 library staff. She believes, and these are her words, that the system's greatest strength, along with support from community, uh, or have been vital to that effort. Um, I want to thank her personally for the work, uh, for helping rename the uh, Brigadier General uh, Charles McGee Library, uh, or what do we call that again? Charles Sometimes E. McGee. BG. BG, that's right. Um, and she's had to deal with many changes. Uh, the library system converted from uh, just doing the normal library work into, as over time, as with across the country, being places and spaces for people to get jobs, for early literacy, and oh, by the way, during COVID, becoming one of the primary places where people came for COVID kits and masks. Uh, we, many of us in the last council were there uh, giving out, I don't know if it, I think it got to the millions? It's in the millions. Millions of uh, PPE and, and tests. Um, and she did that uh, on a dime and the whole team. Uh, she, we partnered together to uh, do virtual story time with council member Will Jawando in hundreds of episodes and also a ton of virtual programming uh, during the pandemic uh, that was connecting our folks and we never closed down. I always like to rem remind people they were doing books on demand. People would pick things up. Uh, that was all under Director Vassallo's leadership. Uh, she changed the, directory, the trajectory of libraries from orienting them solely on books, but to hubs to provide resources for everyone in our community to reach their uh, greatest selves and to have prosperity. That's online classes, opportunities, and connecting with professionals and creating safe spaces for all. She's overseen the shift from mostly print resources to mostly digital resources. Uh, and God bless you. Uh, we are just so thankful for your leadership. Um, I'm thankful for your friendship. Um, and we are going to miss you. I don't know what we're, how we're going to do this, but we're going to figure it out. The good thing is you've developed so many great leaders that I know we're going to be in good hands. So I'm going to turn it over first uh, to... Councilmember Mink, who is the current lead for libraries, uh, to heap more praise on you. <laughs> Can do. It really has been a pleasure coming into the role of lead for libraries, and uh, so much of that is due to you, Director Vassallo, and your work, um, the environment that you have created, and really the positive direction that you have taken our libraries and continue to send our libraries off on at a time when we have seen, you know, across our country and in other places, uh, a rollback of the freedom to read and to learn. Um, restrictions uh, for young people to learn about the truth of our history, even. 
um, restrictions on the diversity of the people, the gender and sexual differences uh, between people and families that we're seeing. Um, uh, what we have seen in Montgomery County is confident leadership from our libraries that we are going to continue to be honest and truthful and inclusive and transparent and make sure that literature in all of its breadth and depth uh, is available to all of our readers. And I am so grateful to your leadership during this especially difficult time in that regard. And, um, and I have for you a little sticker that I also have uh, on my water bottle, which says, read banned books. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, there you go. And uh, just thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. So I was thrilled when the county executive sent over Director Vassallo's nomination, because for 12 years, we were colleagues in the former administration of County Executive Ike Leggett. And there's a lot of synergy between the Libraries Department and the Department of Recreation. They are two of the most front-facing, along with the Department of Health and Human Services, uh, agencies in all of county government. And we worked very collaboratively when we merged the Wheaton Recreation Center and Library into one spectacular facility uh, that is really generating lots of interest from around the region and around the country and how did you guys do that uh, and we did it because of people like Anita who worked tirelessly with the department to merge our policies our procedures to get together those nuts and bolts that are critical and people don't often think about when carrying out a complex operation like that and you've done this job with grace with tremendous dedication with vision uh, and follow-through um, and as Councilmember Jawando mentioned, you've been tested all these years, but never more so than during COVID, when you had to adjust your operation so radically and so unexpectedly. But then, and it's uh, appropriate that we're going to be sitting as the Board of Health later this afternoon, stepped up in an amazing way along with your team. So thank you for all of your years of dedication and service, but also your friendship. All right, I'm gonna have Lenny say a little something and then we will turn to Director Vassallo. So I just, uh, there's nothing else I can add, but um, I just wanted to say your leadership is the one that helps us really continue to apply for any libraries. If we didn't have um, a leadership like you, makes it our life easier, I would not have applied for the weekend one. But I just wanna say thank you. And just so you don't know, uh, Lenny and her sister run uh, KEFA, uh, and they have location in Wheaton Library and, and now in, where's, at the Aquatic Center. Um, but it's a way libraries and rec centers interact with small business and helping our community. And, and Anita was at the forefront of that, as Lenny just said. All right, so we're going to turn to you, and I'll hold your flowers, Director Vassallo, but anything you'd like to say. So um, I definitely, I, w I want to thank Council so much for this recognition. Um, although I am um, being honored as the Director of Montgomery County Public Libraries at my retirement, I um, stand on the shoulders of everyone who's gone before me. Over my career, I have had the great good fortune to work with many, many wonderful library staff members who taught me about um, you know, what it meant to be in public service, how important that was, because libraries are um, not, of course, repository of books. They are a community hub, a focus for the residents that we serve. I am fortunate that I lead an organization composed of wonderful staff members. My administrative team is exceptional, and basically it, it makes me look good. Yeah, I'm the director, but everybody else does all of the work. So um, I do know what it's like to do the work, having done most of the jobs within the library system, but um, 
50 years and more of service to the residents of Montgomery County has always been inspiring. Public libraries are never boring because you never know what's going to come in the door each day. And so um, as I move towards retirement, I am, um, you know, slightly sad to be moving away from that interaction with community members because um, nothing makes you feel as good as someone coming back to the library after you've helped them and telling them that you did exactly what they needed. So um, again, my appreciation to council for this recognition, my deep appreciation to County Executive Mark Elrich who gave me the opportunity to lead the library system. And of course, I am so grateful to all of my staff who support the work that we do for our community every day. Thank you. Awesome, so we're, my colleagues are gonna help me read the proclamation here. So we'll, uh, all right. Whereas Anita Vassallo is a dedicated public servant with more than five decades of service in Montgomery County Public Libraries, as a young student, her love for libraries was evident, and she took the advice of her mother to get a job at her local library. And, whereas Anita began her career in the library system in 1974, and her service in libraries includes White Oak, Four Corners, Kensington Park, Silver Spring, Davis, and Rockville Memorial. County leaders have recognized Anita's strong understanding and experience at the branch level, and she was appointed director of MCPL in 2017, and? Whereas Director Vassallo is a strong leader who ensures the county's 23 library branches are strong community hubs and a key resource for learners of all ages. During the pandemic, she ensured our libraries were a hub for distributing masks and COVID tests while protecting the safety of residents and library staff. She is a fierce advocate for expanding access to library collections through digital services while maintaining strong in-person engagement and material. Now therefore be it resolved that the County Council of Montgomery County, Maryland hereby celebrates Anita Vassallo and be it further resolved that the County Council wishes Director Vassallo and her family a wonderful retirement presented on this day, the 11th of June in the year 2024. Let's give Director Vassallo a round of applause. <laughs> Colleagues come down, we take a great picture.